It's time to get to work. I want to share this with you. I graduated from Columbia University. I'm looking at my degree right here and I really forgot what it meant to get this degree. I really forgot what it meant to go through this university and experience a higher level of education. I made a promise to myself that when I graduated Columbia, I was gonna go out and change the world. That was 2017, it is 2023 and I failed. I failed on that promise because I forgot the amount of work that it requires to do and be better. When it comes down to these videos, social media, the world, it's very easy to lose sight of what is important, right? To lose sight of what matters because we're chasing money, we're chasing opportunities, we're trying to pursue our dreams and aspirations, and we forget about the little things that matter. Consistency is one of those things that truly matters, that is overlooked, and when you pay attention to the things that matter, that are overlooked, that's when life changes. I made a promise to myself that I was going to set out and change the world. I'm going to do that. There are a lot of things that I know I have to do. There are a lot of sacrifices that I know have to happen. And this is not about money. This is not about fame. This is not about being popular. This is about telling you that when you want to do better, when you want to be better, when you want things to change, you have to start at ground zero. None of this is gonna be pretty. I've been posting videos for almost three years now. I don't have an outcome in mind. I completely forgot my purpose. Let me grab my degree and show you. I really forgot how many people I inspired, how many people were supporting me to make this journey happen. My time in New York was very unique and I still remember I went through depression, I was struggling with loneliness, I was confused, I was going through it. Getting this degree meant everything to me. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to make those promises, realities that I made to myself back in 2016 and 17. I'm going to keep this very concise. I have a moral obligation and an intellectual obligation to share with you that at 34 years old, I know that I am not content with my life and most people are not content with their lives. The thing that makes me different is that I am not chasing after money. I don't care about becoming a multimillionaire. I don't care about financial freedom. I'm not trying to chase these trendy topics and words because when you do that, you lose purpose. So I'm going to tell you real life things. At 34 years old, I am responsible for a sick parent. I'm dealing with the reality that my mom is dependent on me. I'm also dealing with the reality that I am in a position where I can do things, I can help out, I can create meaningful impact by just being me. And none of that deals with money. At the same time, so many people can relate off of what I am saying. So I decided to put everything out on video. I'm going to show you how I'm going to tackle all of these different problems with effective solutions. Every single day I have to get up and do work. Every single day I have to show up for myself because I only have me. What I mean by that, I have problems just like you have problems. Another adult is not going to assume responsibilities for your problems. So I have to show up for me. Every single day that I procrastinate, every single day that I dwell on perfection or imperfection, or if I'm doing the right things or the wrong things, or if this is the right time or the wrong time, I am delaying progress. I'm going to share all of these experiences with you because just like you, my day starts extremely early. I am not taking you through my 5 a.m. routine. I am not going to show you me working out at the gym because all of that has been done. Do you really care if I am pushing 400 pounds? Nobody cares about that. But if I tell you this is a problem, 
here is a solution. You may be able to relate to that. There's a lot of work that's gonna happen in the coming days, especially with cinematography. I have to make sure that the images that I am recording are telling you a story. The story is about showing up. The story is about being relentless. The story is about not caring about outcomes or people's opinions. And I'm going to say this a hundred times. I do not care about money. I am not trying to become a millionaire. I am not trying to become famous. And I have no expectations for whatever happens with these videos. My only expectation it is to simply solve all of the problems that are currently a part of my life. We all struggle with mental health issues. We all have these obstacles in our way. What separates the people that make it and the people that don't are those people that show up, are those people that have no excuses, are those people that see no obstacles or barriers, and they just get it done. So now, I'm going to go and see my mom and my night is always going to end at the gym or after I see her. So let's get there. My days end here. I spend time with my mom, then I go to the gym, then I go home and do it all over again. I am never going to record a workout because again, I'm not a, <laughs> a workout influencer and I hate the gym with a passion. The last thing is that this experience of my mom being sick, I'm going to share moments when they're right, but I also want to respect my mom's privacy while she's dealing with her recovery. So that's it.